What's up you guys, my name is Brandon Cook and my camera is about to die. So I made this video just to show you guys and tell you guys about shopping on a budget, how to dress nice when shopping on a budget. And one main thing that I've noticed is that men's fashion and clothing and buying stuff in today's society is crazy expensive and everything is like $60 here, $100 here, $200 here for men's clothes and women can get things for like two dollars it's crazy so one thing that I want to show to you is you can go to thrift stores you can go to Goodwill you can go to Plato's closet you can go to different thrift stores of that nature and they have some of the same name brand things there that you would find in the store now now if you're bougie and you're like I ain't wearing nothing that people have already worn dur, 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 then maybe that's not for you but uh, so when shopping on a budget you want to look like you can't go wrong with neutrals. Neutral colors, blacks go with everything, whites goes with everything. Um, you can mix and match that with anything, okay? Also, when, when shopping on a budget, you can even go to places like Walmart. I'll even do like a Walmart challenge. Give me a thumbs up if you wanna see a Walmart challenge or something of that nature. I could put together an outfit and show you guys that you can shop super cheap and still look dope. Okay, for example, I got this jacket all right, it was originally marked like $150. I got it for 30 bucks, okay, at a thrift store. Don't underestimate like thrift store items. Also, if you need to get your basics, like jeans or something like that, like if you need to pay, if you need to pay full price for your jeans or whatever, that's cool, but you can mix and match tops from like thrift stores and places of that nature. Um, you don't need to buy, in all honesty, you don't need to buy $100, $200 shirts and pants and crap like that like your main essentials if you have some nice looking shoes um and you just rock that with everything else you got you'll be fine also another thing that can help you guys out when shopping on a budget is get things that are fitted now me personally i don't like boot cut jeans i don't like straight leg jeans i like skinny jeans um now when getting skinny jeans you may have to go a size up the up from your normal size uh just because so, so it fits appropriately um because i've noticed like fitted styles let's say this jacket is kind of big but for the most part fitted fitted looks looks better than baggy i'm and anything that i do i like looking clean right so if you look clean and sharp while dressing dressing on a budget you'll look like your outfit costs a bajillion dollars you know what i mean but camera dies and i'm recording off the phone but anyways what i was saying was you don't always have to go for the hot commodities, what's popping and trending right now. One thing I learned about fashion is fashion repeats itself, history repeats itself. I would say don't get like a, an expression piece. An expression piece is something that if you can wear it once or wear it twice, and people are gonna know you wear it two different days. If you get a neutral colored item, something that's just plain, like a green t-shirt, a black t-shirt, a gray t-shirt, you can mix and match that with so many different outfits and nobody will know that how many times you wore it because you can mix and match with anything. And also, I'm not a big fan me personally, personally, I'm not a big fan of shirts that have like words all over them or like uh, just like tacky looking graphics. Also, another thing, just a tip for me, like shirts that say the word swag on it or something, don't let the shirt speak for you. Like, don't let a shirt say swag. Like, show you have swagger in your outfit. You know what I mean? Like, it just kind of is like... Um, I don't know, like, why would you, if you're a rich person, why would you buy a shirt that says, I'm rich, unless you're like a just total douche. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, and another tip. If you guys are completely clueless about outfits, like, man, I don't know what to wear, here's a tip. Go to websites where fashion bloggers are. Like, here's one that I have, my personal account is lookbook.nu. There's plenty of fashion bloggers on there that you guys can check out. You can check out their outfits, and if you're completely clueless, you can look at what accessories do they have? How is this styled? Is it fitted? Is it, uh, is it classy? Is it chic? Is it, is it vintage? Is it uh, grunge style? Or whatever. So, and you can look at their styles and look at some of these outfits for yourself and just learn to dress in the appropriate manner. And you can go to places like Target, Walmart, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, uh, thrift stores and places like that and you can dress well on a budget. And you can do all that and you will look awesome with it. If you guys would like me to do some type of challenge video, please let me know. It's freezing out here, man. It's crazy North Carolina weather. Um, but I can do, definitely do a, a style challenge for you guys. Um, I hope this helped in some form or fashion. I meant for this to be a helpful video. So if it did, please give me a thumbs up. Peace. Okay, so we're at this store and I found some Air Yeezys. Okay, are they real or are they fake? They're real. We think they're real. Air Yeezys. You tell me. I think they're real.